Okay, fine, perfect. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, welcome everyone uh, to this uh, online workshop on uh, how to become a data scientist. Okay, so let me introduce first initially about me. I am Shuram Vishnu. I'm presently working as a senior data scientist. Okay, and uh, I'm working as a freelance for uh, upgrade as an ML expert and working as freelance for various organizations like uh, Upgrad, Simply Learn, and Naresh IT. So on weekends, I used to take trainings for Upgrad and Simply Learn. On weekdays, I used to have with respect to Naresh IT, apart from this, right? So I'm having overall 10 years of experience in this uh, IT industry by teaching profession. And uh, I have trained with respect to various uh, case studies more than 200 plus case studies and i have handled 30 plus data science projects related to finance healthcare telecom aviation and e-commerce right yeah yeah some of you are saying voice is not clear uh, can you please come for me everyone it is clear yes good Perfect. So let's move on. So I'm a top two data scientist from Kaggle. So I'm in the top two percentile from Kaggle, right? And this is all about me, a brief intro. And uh, let's uh, coming to my education. I have done this uh, data science and machine learning from IM and masters from the Institute of Technology and BTEC from JNDU. And uh, there, I have done some of, couple of certifications, right? And uh, I was a certified IBM data science professional and I'm a certified data scientist, right? I, uh, certified data scientist by IBAC USA, that is International Association of Business Analytics Council, which is in US. And uh, I was a certified in data science by IIT Madras and Microsoft certified in Python, right? Now, coming to today's agenda. So what I'm going to have in today's agenda is majorly I'm going to focus first, what is data science? Exactly what is data science? Why we need this data science? And why data science is getting so popular nowadays? Okay, nowadays we are getting with respect to data science, smart vision intelligence, machine learning, all these courses or with respect to these buzzing words are getting so popular. Why? What's the reason? Right? Now, along with that, uh, we'll be discussing what exactly this uh, data scientist do in a real case, what is data science uh, life cycle and what they exactly do, what are their responsibilities and what are the skills and tools required to be a data scientist? That is, uh, what is the exact skill set the industry is looking for and what are the tools the industry is looking for and what should be the skills and tools required in order to be a data scientist. Skills are different, tools are different. Okay, uh, so let us observe each of them. And what are the various roles in data science? Okay, and what is the difference between data scientist and data analyst and data engineer? And what would be the career path in terms of uh, for, uh, for freshers to an experienced person and their salaries? And uh, for as you go in career, what are the additional tools we used to learn, right? And what, what about the jobs for precious and experienced people? And what would be the salary ranges? All these things, a complete overview of data science we are going to see in today's session, right? And uh, you are, uh, I assume that most of you have already completed some of the data science course and uh, you are looking for a job. Right, and some of you want to start their career in data science. So all mix of students who should be there in this uh, today's session, right? So we'll be discussing everything in detail. Okay, so who have already completed the data science course and now what is their required to in order to crack the interviews with respect to uh, in industry, how to prepare? Okay, all these things we are going to discuss the complete things. Okay. So with respect to what data science to, how to crack an interview, 
and what about the course and everything every each and every detail i'm going to discuss just i require is patience okay in between if you are typing some of the questions means i may not answer because i may keep the answers in some of the slides so have a patience and at the end of the things i'll be answering your all the questions every question will be answered right just have some of the patience let us see detailly about each of them okay now let's get into this first what is data science so in order to understand what is data science now first let me ask you a question who is the richest person in the world now earlier uh, we know that bill gates but who is now in terms of so some days we are saying elon musk and sometimes we are saying bes uh, bes uh, jeff bezos right sometimes we are saying elon musk right so as of now we can understand with respect to jeff bezos is the richest person and amazon is the company right now coming to this okay how this he has been the richest person what is the technique he has supplied earlier few years back bill gates used to be there okay he has invented the microsoft and uh, he has done with respect to the os and uh, everyone used to work on the same thing right now nowadays with respect to jeff bezos who is the richest person now how because as simple very simple concept he has understand the requirements of the customers okay there will be variety of customers wide range of customers so some people will required uh, uh, in amazon website they required more number of products in order to compare and some of them required very uh, very good uh, brand at low cost like this variety of customers and their requirements is there right so he has understand the customers okay what the customer need some people they have uh, two years back i assume 2 to 3 years back max okay we are not having with respect to fast delivery we are not having the concept of fast delivery we are not having even the delivery charges for free of cost okay now nowadays we are not having that much of products more number of products in order to compare we are not having that uh, reviews whatever the reviews you are saying on the website we used to not have and the uh, positive reviews and negative reviews uh, comparison of these things also not to be there okay slowly 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 they have developed everything okay first they have came with respect to this uh, concept of free delivery uh, earlier uh, whoever are purchasing in online okay when they have started this uh, online business in terms of this e-commerce business first they have faced the hurdles that uh, with respect to most of the people they wants to see the uh, whatever they are purchasing they want to see the item visually once they see the visual uh, item visually and they analyze that one and they get the details from the executive then only they used to buy in india in india offline market is more when compared to online market so now this is the major hurdle with respect to online so online we we are having with respect to delivery charges okay and uh, whether the product is good or not whether they are going to send any duplicate products we are having number of questions and number of questions uh, with respect to when now we want to purchase anything in online but they they have faced all these they have they have faced all these hurdles and they have overcome these hurdles okay first they have started with respect to free delivery after that they have went with respect to uh, fast delivery fast delivery that to uh, from a two day uh, we are having with a two days delivery and one day delivery like this so from where they have understood all these things from where okay so just they understand the customers so the customers has given the reviews the customers has given the feedback right so they have understood from the feedback they want the free delivery and they understand from that uh, feedback they want with respect to fast delivery they understand from the feedback they want with respect to uh, number of products in order to compare so like this they understand the customers as per the customers they have made the changes automatically when they have changed made the changes as per the requirements of customers Ob obviously every customer will be interested to buy right simple very simple so they understood the customers and as per the uh, requirements of the customers they have changed that one so they find the what is the requirements 
so in order to get this uh, fast delivery so fast delivery is not a simple task right for fast delivery we required number of warehouses in that warehouses we have to already have this number of items in bangalore warehouse and hyderabad warehouse in that too in hyderabad or in bangalore that this metropolitan cities we required number of warehouses because uh, in hyderabad it is a large cities right uh, bangalore or uh, hyderabad or chennai these metropolitan cities are very large cities in terms of area so they required number of warehouses more number of warehouses they required so once whenever the customer purchase immediately they have to start the shipping and immediately they have to send within a one day or two days delivery so if they are getting in two days delivery means they are very much satisfied and they want even the return policy they want so if they are not interested in that particular product they want to return and they want to get the refund money wise not in terms of item wise they want in terms of money wise refund all these things they understand they are understanding the customers understanding the customers and getting the insights from the data and finally making the better decisions so as per this what we have to do what we have to do so they don't want on the first day if there are someone is investing on something they will not check after one month immediately what we are going to get immediately one month what we are going to get what is the return on one month and what is the profit on single single item they are not going to see like this so they are going to have some kind of investment and they are going to have a long term vision they will be having some type of long term vision in india they want to make the leaders and they want to attract more number of customers okay and they want to rule this so they are going to make in terms of investment and they are going to have the profits even after 2 years or 3 years 2 years or 3 years right so one more simple example if i want to say you everyone knows this geo right so in geo when they have implemented the geo first they have given 3 months free of cost and after that again they have extended next 3 months okay they have extended next to 3 months for free of cost right so what is this strategy they have applied so in india they know that uh, okay most of the people are uh, if they want to turn from eight tel so most of the people have already having the mobile phones and they are already the telecom uh, subscribers so with respect to either airtel or vodafone with respect to vodafone and idea and they may be with respect to tata so they are having various number of customers right now they want to get into this industry so in order to get into this industry how do they turn these people into their company towards their company how to turn so in order to that they have implemented the strategy called as free so they don't that everyone understands that okay so jio is giving for 3 months free of cost means it is a loss for jio it is a loss for this month and for this 3 months but jio is not thinking that is as a loss it is assuming it as an investment whatever the three months they are planning it is a part of investment this is also a part of investment they have wants to be investment and now is jio is the second most with respect to subscribers wise whereas first one is airtel and the second one is with respect to jio right so to enter into the market okay they are going to apply the different strategies so this strategies how they are going to apply is based on the business insights the insights from where they are going to get from the data from where they are going to get the data from the people right so they are going to analyze the uh, with respect to the people and the requirements and from that they are developing a business strategy which finally develops the organization so they are going to take the decision final decision they are going to take from this so this is very simple about data science okay so data science is nothing but transforming the data into the insights in order to make the decisions what are the data they may get some people will get in terms of youtube from youtube they will be getting some videos in that videos uh, some people will say something okay finally what they want to convey whether it is a video feedback or audio feedback or someone has messaged something they want to say something right so they want to understand with respect to whether it is a videos audios what type of the data whatever the type of the data may be so they want to understand the data okay so we are going to get different types of data whether it may be a structured data or unstructured data or with respect to images data visual data audio data 
text data, Twitter data, Instagram data, different types of data we are having with respect to. In different social media, we are having some people will have Facebook post. They are going to keep some kind of Facebook post. Okay. So some people will keep an in, in terms of images. From that also we have to understand. For example, uh, if you take Narendra Modi, okay, he wants to know his uh, what is the opinion on Narendra Modi's in public. He is going to see from various from various uh, data sources. He is not only going to check with respect to what the public, how the public they want to think, how they are thinking about Narendra Modi. He wants to see from various data sources. In some Twitter, they will be writing something. Okay, Narendra Modi is good or bad or something. So they are going to understand. Okay, everything they are going to analyze the data, whatever the type of data we have to analyze. And from that, after analyzing, we have to make a decision, which makes with respect to an advantage with respect to comp competitive advantage, right? The type of decisions we have to take from this, right? Now, so for doing this data science, we require some tools like with respect to machine learning, so it is very difficult. For example, if you're having uh, tweets, okay, almost uh, 1 million tweets are there. Uh, it is easy for a human to understand all these 1 million tweets in a day. In one day, it, uh, it has to be completed. Let us assume one day, you have given one day. Is that possible for machine uh, with respect to uh, for a human? So for a human, it is possible to understand this 1 million tweets in one day, no, right? So for that, we are going to use with respect to machine. What is meant by machine learning? Machine is going to learn. Machine is going to learn. How we are going to learn? So machine is also going to learn. For example, if I say that Modi is, uh, Modi is good, simple. What is the meaning of Modi is good? Whatever I'm understanding, the same way machine has also understand the same thing. Okay, whatever I'm, I, Understanding this one, this is a positive comment. Let us assume this is a positive comment. So machine also has to assume whenever the Modi is good is there, it has to take as positive comment. The machine is learning. Machine learning is nothing but machine is learning. So how we are going to learn? We are learning whatever we are learning, the data science is called as human learning. In the same way, machine is also learning. For machine also, the data is new. The concepts are new, everything is new. So the machine has to learn the data. The machine has to understand the data. Okay, so the machine is understanding the data is called as machine learning. So in the machine learning with respect to advanced means in terms of a combination of uh, text data plus images. Text is there plus image is there. Plus video is there, something like any combination. Instead of one, any combination. Individually, if you are working on text means you can use deep learning. If you individually works on image means you can use deep learning. Individually, if you are working on images means, uh, or I mean, audios or anything, or structured data means you can use with respect to deep learning or machine learning, right? Now coming to artificial intelligence is a combination. Is it a text plus image plus video or something? So any two combinations with respect to your working simultaneously is with respect to artificial intelligence. Now, what is data science now? Okay, artificial intelligence is fine. Machine learning is fine. Deep learning is fine. Everything is okay. Now, what is data science? Data science is nothing but it is going to use the concepts of all these three along with the stats. Along with the stats, it is going to apply all these things. Okay, the machine is able to understand. Okay, machine is understanding how many positives are there, how many negatives are there, how many positive comments are there, how many negative comments are there. Okay, machine has understood how many positives and how many negatives. Now, this one I'm going to apply on the data science. From the machine, whatever the output I have got. From that, I'm going to analyze that one. Okay, these many positive comments are there. This is best to implement. These many negative comments are there. So it is not good for to implement. Like this, we are going to analyze based on the statistics by application of statistics. That's it. Okay. Right? Now, let us see these applications. N number of applications every industry wants. So for example, what is data science means? You are understanding the data and you are going to develop the company, right? Tell me which company wants not to develop. Every company wants, right? Every company, every industry, every domain. Tell me which one not they require. 
So everyone required with respect to marketing, they required with respect to travel, with respect to social media, with respect to insurance, with finance, sales, marketing, healthcare industry, every person requires with respect to applications. So it is not restricted. It is not restricted with respect to, to one industry. It is not restricted to one industry or one domain or nothing like that. That is the reason why a non-IT people also can easily enter into data science. Not only IT people, for non-IT people also, data science is the best option when compared to anything. If you take with respect to any other courses like uh, with respect to full stack or cloud or with respect to uh, cyber security or something, something, something. But when compared to all of this, when compared to for non-IT people, data science is the best option. Why? Because it is not implementing with respect to the concepts of IT. It is applying the concepts of analyzing skills. Here, analyzing skills are important, right? It is having the applications of n number of applications, dynamic pricing. So flight with respect to, like uh, today we are all know red bus, Abhi bus. Everyone knows, right? With respect to whoever travels on bus. So now with respect to the dynamic pricing, and if you see with respect to flight charges, okay, two, two months before the flight charge will be different and uh, one month before the flight charge will be different and one week before the flight charge will be different. And who is deciding these flight charges? How it is getting decided? Everything is an application of data science, right? Now with respect to healthcare, whether they are predicting, now recently everyone knows this uh, COVID, right? So COVID situation, everyone knows. Now, recently we have seen with respect to the implementation of co-vaccine. So they have seen with respect to the statistics they have applied is on the data science. Okay, so after inventing with respect to the medicine, with respect to the vaccine, whatever we are having with respect to co-vaccine or co-shield, whatever it is. So everything was the application of data science only. So they have checked, they have applied with respect to number of people. Okay, they have taken a sample. On the sample, they have kept. Okay, they analyzed on the sample and they have released that one. So in order to release this one, they applied the concept is with respect to data science. Okay, now Narendra Modi, during the COVID situation, he has clustered into with respect to red zone, green zone, orange zone. The resource application of data science. Everything, whatever you are saying, the applications is with respect to the data science. Right, the healthcare industry num uh, says, okay, and policy bazaar, cars24.com, all these are applications of data science only. Okay, it is not restricted to one industry or one particular domain, it is having wide range of applications. Right, so anyone, though you are from chemical background, yes, you can shift to data science, you are from mechanical background, absolutely, you can shift to data science, you are from uh, production background, yes. You are a computer science background. Of course, you are having an edge when compared to others. So everyone can turn to data science. Everyone can learn uh, data science and everyone can become a data scientist, right? Now, why data science is getting so popular now? Sir, companies are, so many companies are there. Let us take Infosys, okay? Infosys was established in uh, year 1970s to 1980s and uh, it was developed and it is uh, growing, right? And nowadays it is also applying data science, fine. But 10 years back also data science is there. 10 years back also data science is there and it has been applied. But why data science is getting so popular now? Earlier also data science is there, every, every company has grown. The Reliance company has grown, Amazon company has grown, every company has been growing, right? But why data science is getting so popular nowadays? Earlier also the same thing is there. The simple reason is data is getting too large. In 2005, we are having 130 exabytes. The world was generated total 130 exabytes in 2005. In 2010, it has been 1200. In 2020, it is 40,900 exabytes of data has been generated. So total whatever 2000 up to 2021, last two years, just in last two years, 90% of the whole data was generated in less the last two years. This much of data is getting generated. So who will analyze them? Data is there. When data is there, automatically analyzation will start, right? If you analyze, you can start a business. From that data, you can analyze and you can start a business. 
right so with respect to this much of data in terms of data we are going to get earlier we used to not to see that much of youtube okay even two years back before geo also we are having per month only 2 gb 3 gb right nowadays we are getting daily 2 gb daily 3 gb and wi-fi unlimited data right we are getting such a huge amount of data and the data whatever that we are generating it is with respect to large and even complex also Com complex means in terms of uh, for example you want to write uh, with respect to something feedback you are writing the feedback wherever you require you are writing on twitter you are writing something you are writing on a facebook you are writing you are writing on instagram you are writing in youtube uh, comments also even there also you are writing your feedback wherever you see something you are writing your feedback there itself right so we have got with respect to two complex data right so this much of data is getting generated that is the only reason why data science is getting so popular and why in last two years three years we are getting this buzzing words data science and artificial intelligence machine learning all this comes in the picture into last two years because of data okay since we are having the data more amount of data right now that is the reason why we are having with respect to harvard university says that the uh, hottest job of 20th, 21st century is the data science. Why? Data scientist job is the sexiest job of 21st century. Harvard University is saying. And with respect, NASCOM is saying, with respect to we are going to expect this many, 2 lakhs, 30,000 people are expected with respect to data science openings in 2021. Right? So post COVID, once the COVID situation will normalize and once the IT industry opens, the first huge demand is going to be with respect to data science. As per NASCOM, as per NASCOM, okay, the huge demand will be with respect to data science. Once the IT industry opens and everyone is usual and offline, everything was started, immediately the first, they are going to take, they are going to have number of hires in terms of number of hiring we are going to have with respect to data science. The only reason is the companies already secured the data. They got the data. They are having, they have stored the data in their cloud. Now they parties to analyze that data. Okay. Once everything opens into the market, the first huge demand we are going to get is with respect to data science. Right? Now, what exactly this data scientist do? Okay. So what exactly this data scientist will do? Let us understand everything clearly. First, the data scientist, this is called as life cycle of a data science. Okay, which is called as scripts. One minute. This is called as CRISP DM. What is meant by CRISP DM is cross. Okay, I stands for industry. S stands for standard process. Cross industry standard process. Every industry has to apply the same process for data science. This is called as Scripps DM methodology. Cross industry standard process for data mining. DM stands for data mining. What is meant by data mining? Just uh, analyzing the data. You are digging in the data. You are understanding the data. You are mining the data. Understanding the data or uh, with respect to digging into that and uh, you are combining various things and anal analy analyzing all comes under data mining. It is nothing but cross industry standard process for data mining. Okay, every industry is going to use the same thing. First, they are going to understand what exactly the business problem is. First, they are going to understand what exactly the business problem is. Okay, for example, let us take an example. For example, HDFC bank is there. They want to accept or whether to reject a personal loan. Someone has applied for a personal loan and uh, whether to accept that personal loan or whether they want to reject for that particular personal loan. Okay, they are applying the data science concept only. So they are going to see with respect to previously, okay how many people has applied with respect to uh, hdfc bank within the hdfc bank how many of them has applied and uh, how many 
after receiving the loan means with respect to once they have taken the loan how many has been paid on time repaid on time how many people has non repaid means they have not repaid this non repayment is called as default they are called as defaulters and these persons are called as non defaulters okay now the hdfc bank has analyzed how many people has been defaulted the loan how many people has been defaulted the loan and how many people has non defaulted the loan it has been analyzed and based on that whenever a person is applying for a personal loan whenever a person is applying for a personal loan immediately they are going to check with respect to whether this person is going to default or whether this person is not going to non default they are going to check okay this particular person is going to default with respect to 30% and this person is not going to default for 70% okay so since he is having with respect non default is more so they are going to accept this one and they are going to approve the loan for example if you are having with respect to this one as 80% and this one as 20% immediately they are going to reject the loan so they are going to check that one okay so my business understanding what is my business understanding miss whether to a person i have to approve a loan or not i want to approve a loan for a right person who will make a repayment on time with respect to that is with respect to my business understanding for that i am going to collect the data i am going to collect the data from hdfc bank people okay once you collect the data in that data you have to understand what are the technologies are there like with respect to for example age is there what is meant by age and what is meant by civil score and what is meant by with respect to uh, whether the person is having a own house or not okay these are the simple example since you understand everyone will understand i am going to say very simple examples for example if i say uh, some kind of uh, healthcare project and we are having with respect to uh, adipose what is meant by adipose you know to understand right so you have to understand the data what is whatever the data they have given to you you have to understand what is meant by adipose for example what is meant by waste all these terminologies all these things you have to understand okay once you understand that one now you have to clean the data you have to clean the data there will be data in the data given raw data there will be with respect to uncleanness you have to clean neatly so some of them will use uh, exclamatory marks some of them will use inverted commas something something they will be using so you have to clean all these things okay so for example if i want uh, a particular uh, car number okay uh, vehicle number for example uh, tn 16 as 1212 something like this i am having i want this one only i don't want this one so i am going to erase this one i am going to delete that one so this is all the data clean some of you uh, will give the data and some of you will not give the data means i will be having some kind of missing values some data will be missing for example if i ask everyone to fill the form in that whichever the star mark is there mandatory you are going to fill that one whichever non star mark is there it is of your choice some people will fill and some people will not fill right so where where i am going to have some missing data and sometimes if i ask your age and stop entering 26 some people will enter 260 of course it is a type error only so but this type of data also i am going to get right age cannot be 260 so now this time i have to clean the data some data entry errors also will be there all these things comes under data preparation once this was completed now as per my requirement i am going to select the model whether it is a machine learning or whether it is a artificial intelligence model or whether it is a deep learning or whether it is a natural language so i am going to select the model as per the problem what all the given problem as per that i am going to select and i am going to do with respect to machine so the machine is going to understand the data machine learning is nothing but machine is going to understand the data machine is understanding the data guys i think uh, if you remember in your childhood okay or if you take a kid a small kid is there let us assume a small kid is there for this kid you have to explain uh, apple so what you are going to do for him you have to explain apple for the first time he he wants to know the apple fruit how it is like for a small kid 
okay what we are going to do we are going to show some apple and we are going to say this is called as apple which is of red color okay which is of red color and which is having a shape like this and which is having something like this so we are going to say this one is called as apple oh he is going to understand okay this is an apple tomorrow there is a light green color light light green and uh, with respect to light red combination of green and red now he has to understand that one also an as an apple and tomorrow green apples will be there he has to understand that one also an as apple so we have to show him with respect to multiple examples so by showing him okay this is called as red color apple red apple pure red apple light red apple light red apple okay green color apple green apple like this we are going to train him we are going to check uh, we are going to explain him okay this is called as an apple this is also called as an apple different different colors apples this all comes under apples small small apple large apple medium size apples all these things we are going to show for that kid and we are going to explain this all comes under apple category only like this we are going to explain after that how much he has learned from me i have to evaluate right i have to test just uh, simply listening okay he has just understood okay he has just listened to whatever i am saying has listened but he has not understand anything then there is no use right so i have to evaluate him how much he has understood also i have to evaluate if you are working for a humans means then it is called as human learning if you are doing the same thing for machine means it is called as machine learning very simple what is the difference between human learning and machine learning means this one as a trainer as a trainer i am explaining you the concepts i am explaining you the concepts and after the concepts explanation i am going to test you by keeping some kind of exam right so similarly here also the same thing for machine also machine is going to understand the concepts and we are going to test the machine to how much extent the machine has understood if the machine has understood very well means automatically in future it is going to predict correctly if the machine itself has not understood the past things clearly then how it is going to predict the future first it has to understand the previous one okay so i am going to evaluate with respect to whatever the machine i have trained how much the machine is doing correctly that i am going to evaluate my machine once everything was done i am finally whatever the insights have got right once everything was completed and finally i have got some business insights this business insights i am going to present to the client to the end user right so here the concept is very simple first we have to understand the business problem and we have to collect the data and from the data whatever the data we have collected we have to understand the data once we understand the data now we have to process the data and finally we have to give to the machine the machine has to understand uh, everything once the machine has understand finally we are going to deploy that one right so now skills required to be a data scientist the complete life cycle what are the cycle i have discussed until now these are the skills required okay for business understanding you should have a good analytical skills with respect to how this can be done what are the ways to be done for this particular business problem how we can approach like this you have to question yourself and you have to get some answers right for that you require some communication skills a good communication skills because you want to inter uh, interact with respect to client so client is going to give some kind of problem for example i am a data scientist and naresh naresh it is the my client let us assume naresh it is my client what is my naresh it requirement is so we require number of students in order to join our course we require number of students is the requirement let us assume that is the requirement now i have to understand okay generally if naresh it number of students wants to join miss what is their requirement students what would be the requirements of students students required good knowledge okay this is the first one they required good projects this is the second one and the students will require the placement this is the major part out of all these things they required this one as 80% right this is the requirements of major of the students 
okay majority majority of the students i am not saying every individual i am saying majority only the majority of the students means let us assume 90% of the students okay so they require these three things okay i am going to understand okay so uh, for students in order to enroll for naresh it you have to provide all these things if you are providing means automatically they will be joining if you are not able to provide means they are not going to join okay so for these three things i am going to analyze okay for placements means how the placements will be given for a right person only the placements are there for example some students are there they let's just attend the classes and listen to the classes for them placement means from where we have to get them if they understand the concepts and they are ready to work on the project means then we can place them easy so just i have listened i have attended two months of classes i have listened everything and i want place in placement means how we can get the placements okay so for that we are going to understand the data so previously how many students we are trained at naresh it and out of them how many has got placements and in that students how many has got the placements for why they have got the placements what is the difference between the play, uh, student who has got the placement and what is the difference between the student who has not got the placement right so we are going to understand the business problem exactly once we understand the business problem we are going to collect the data so since my client is naresh it i am going to collect the data from naresh i assume that naresh is starting today only first time he is starting now he wants to start a data science course so whether i want to start a data science course and i am going to hire the trainer and i am going to pay for the trainer this much of amount so whether uh, i can get able to get the students like this their requirement is there so i am going to collect the data from various sources like okay in india how many of them are training on data science who are experts in india okay what are their contents what are their curriculums and what is the procedure they are following all these things i am going to collect and i am going to understand the raw data i am going to understand whatever the data i have collected i am going to understand from that once i have understood now i am going to start with respect to the steps of data preparation in the data preparation the steps will be with respect to eda that is exploratory data analysis you have to understand the data complete data you have to analyze the data data cleaning has to be done data transformations has to be done something uh, some uh, we have to convert from one form to another form and future engineering has to be done and some future selection has to be done all these things has to be done in the data preparation or this is also called as data pre processing this is also called as data pre processing what is meant by data pre processing is before processing in the machine learning before processing to machine the work which you are doing before to that is called as data pre processing okay actual processing will be done in the machine machine learning so before to that you are going to give you a correct data that is with respect to data pre processing or data preparation for this we require stats the requirement is stats statistics part okay you have to understand the data so in order to do these things you require the statistics sir what is statistics for example earlier i have told you one example age i asked to you to enter the age you have entered 26 instead of 26 you have entered 260 let us assume 260 you have entered this is a data entry error i am understanding what is meant by age age of a human the what would be the maximum age generally it would be of 120 or 130 and nowadays maximum we are getting 70 to 80 only okay 260 is not possible right so i am going to understand here the concept called as range the concept called as range what is the lower range and what is the upper range this range concept is the statistics part very simple statistics i don't want much detail of statistics we are not applying for statistician role we require the statistics but not much depth right next here coming to modeling coming to machine learning natural language processing machine learning means for structured data when you are having a structured data you are going to apply the machine learning when you are having with respect to text data okay then it is called as natural language processing for example you are speaking something uh, for, uh you are having everyone has mobile right so most of you are having android mobile and some of you may have iphone so just you can ask with respect to google assistant or siri on which algorithm you are working 
it is going to say i'm working on natural language processing it is understanding your language whatever the language you are speaking the google assistant or alexa or siri everything everything are understanding your language whatever the way you are speaking they are understanding whether you are speaking in telugu or in english or hindi whatever the language you are speaking okay it is understanding right it is completely understanding your language so it is called as natural language processing so in this natural language processing we are going to process the audio and we are going to process the text the audio is nothing but it is going to convert as text and it is go off if i am speaking to google assistant let us assume i am speaking to google assistant uh, what i am speaking is what is the temperature outside what is the temperature what is the today's temperature what is today's temperature let us uh, like like this what is today's temperature if i ask my google assistant what is today's temperature it is going to say today's temperature is like this and uh, whether it is a cloudy or sunny or whatever it is it is going to say something how it is processing this whatever i have spoken it has been converted to text and it has been searched for that keywords and after that it is has been given in the reply also text and the output i am going to get by audio right there be some kind of processing steps steps will be involved but the concept is natural language processing means it is going to understand whatever you are speaking computer vision means images if you want to work on the images then you are going with respect to computer vision right now this combination of these three with respect to deep learning natural language processing and computer vision these three is with respect to called as ai combination of all these things is called as ai okay ai ml and ds everything out one and only same just with a small small changes everything are almost same right ai is nothing but getting uh, insights from the data okay ds also getting the insights from the data both of them almost same only the difference is it is a combination of the things it is only a single one with the concept of statistics it is adding a stats part where it is not going to add any stats part directly it is going to work right that is the only difference next once we done this modeling okay here the max is important what is the max involved is to understand the machine learning we are having machine learning algorithms almost 20 algorithms we are having 20 machine learning algorithms we are having these 20 machine learning algorithms you have to understand so understand means in terms of not by hurting how how it is working how it is working so how the data is collecting for example as for a small kid i am showing this is the vehicles these are the vehicles and this is called as cycle and this is called bicycle and this is called as uh, with respect to a uh, car this is called as bus this is called as truck and like this i am explaining and he is learning how how a kid is able to learn that things how he is able to identify this is a bicycle how is he able to remember that is a bicycle how this a small kid is able to understand these things he is not by hurting right he is identifying the shape what is the shape and he is seeing that uh, how many types are there like this is something okay something uh, he is doing analysis and he is finally understanding that one right in the same way you have to do the same thing for this one also don't by heart understand the concepts how how the machine learning algorithm is working how the machine is able to understand for machine also that is a new data only how for us it is a new data for machine also it is a new data only but how the machine is able to understand that we have to know in that way we have to understand and in that way we have to proceed further right now after that we are going to try and evaluate and we have to go to apply the cross validation techniques all these things right these are the various skills required for data scientist one should be good at max and stats and one should be good at machine learning all of them okay some of the uh, institutes they are trying just only eight all of them and they are saying that machine learning is completed some people are training with 12 algorithms and saying machine learning is completed some of them are saying 14 algorithms and completed okay but you have to learn 20 algorithms minimum to minimum 
20 plus all the dumps right and you have to understand all these things and apply those and these are the various tools like python you should be familiar with one of the programming language either r or python or sas spss excel like this you are having something okay now everything are having limitations excel is having a limitation of the data with 1 million records you can have only 1 million rows you can have only 1 million rows more than 1 million rows you can't get in excel you can't work on excel right it is not possible so excel is not good next coming to spss this is developed by ibm here you can work only with respect to structured data which is in the tabular format you can work if you are having images spss will not work if you have audio it will not work if you have uh, uh, with respect to text document it will not work so it is not going to help so the number of limitations sas coming to sas again it is also going to work on the structured data and second one it is a paid one okay we have to pay for that software okay now we are left out with two one is r and one is python both of them are free both of them can work with respect to statistics max okay structured data they can work with structured data they can work with respect to images data they can work with text data okay these two are the okay out of which we are be going with respect to python why because 95 percent of the industry is looking with respect to python and five percent of the industry is only looking for r why what's the reason there should be some reason right simply they will not find that one there should be some reason why why because whatever the things you can do in r everything can be done in python within the python r is a subset whatever you are able to do in r everything and you can do in python whatever you can do in python you can't do in r then out of which out of these two which one you will learn generally obviously python right because whatever you are able to do in r whatever the statistical analysis you are doing in r whatever the things you are doing in r everything you can do in python and that too in very simple that is the simple reason why google has invested in python that is the only reason why google has invested in python google is the major investor for python okay you can check that one google is the main investor for python right now so we are going to understand python and anaconda distribution how anaconda is uh, with respect to distribution is there and uh, with respect to jupyter what is meant by jupyter and jupyter notebook and what is meant by spider these are various uh, tools uh, where we can execute this python these are the various tools where we can execute this python right and in the python we are having n number of libraries what is meant by libraries if for example i want to write 20 lines of code let us assume i am writing 20 lines of code instead of this 20 lines of code i am going to bring in one line of code just i am going to bring in one line of code all these 20 lines of code i am going to bring in one line by using library okay by using library libraries are nothing but whatever the common lines of code is there they are having they have created the user defines with respect to by creating some libraries by using these libraries you can your work will be very very easy now when compared to any programmer any programmer or a developer okay if they are writing in terms of 200 lines of code or something like this we are going to write very few few lines of code we are going to write only four lines of code or five lines of code the coding part will be very minimum in data science in data science the coding is very less why 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 it is less again there is a question why there should be reason simple the reason is we don't know the answer because for example a developer is there a developer he is going to have an output we are going to say this is the output my requirement output is this so developer is going to write a code he is going to write a some kind of code 
okay, he is going to write the code in order to get this output. This developer is going to write a code in order to get this output. Okay, but here I don't know the output itself. What is the output I'm going to get? I only don't know. I only don't know. Once I take the uh, data, I have started the processing. I only don't know what is the output. I will get the output, and from the output, I will understand something. I only don't know output. I know final solution, how I have to print, but I don't know for every lines of code, what is the output I'm going to get. Based on the output, okay, for example, I'm going to write uh, five lines of code, and it is going to get some output. Based on this output, next lines of code will be decided. It is not fixed always these lines of code. As a developer, whatever we are going to do, it is entirely different. It is quite opposite. Here the output is fixed and we have to write the code. Here output itself not fixed. We have to analyze the data. From the data, whatever the things we are getting, from that again the analysis will be, for example, in this five lines of code, if I get an answer as yes miss, then I have to write different lines of code. If I get an answer as no miss, I have to write different lines of code. Based on that, I have to write the lines of code. Okay. So here in this data science, the coding part is very less. Okay. And that is the first one. Second one, we are having n number of libraries. In, in uh, Python, we are having n number of libraries. Okay. Around 20,000 plus libraries are available. 20,000 plus libraries are there out of which for data science, we are going to use some of them. Overall Python is having 20,000, out of which for data science, we are going to use around 20 or 30 libraries, different libraries we are going to use. Okay, one should be familiar with NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, okay, and sklearn. sklearn is called as scikit-learn. This is called as scikit-learn or sklearn, simply sklearn, which is used for machine learning. Okay, we are going to use TensorFlow and Keras. TensorFlow was developed by Google. Okay, so here TensorFlow and Keras, which is a deep learning. This is ML and this is DL. And this is with respect to NLP, natural language processing and computer vision. And we are going to learn at least one database. Okay, we are going to learn one database. One should be familiar at least one of the database. Okay. So he has to get the data, right? So in order to get the data, we are having different uh, data sources out of which at least one they have to be familiar. In this case, I'm going to take MySQL. For that, we are going to learn SQL. Why? Why we are going to learn this one only? Because 90% of the industry is looking for SQL only. That is the only reason why we have selected SQL. Okay, apart from SQL, we are having n number of, uh, with respect to databases. SQL is nothing but structured query language. It is a, some kind of language. Okay, once you understand Python and this one, SQL is for you of one day. You can understand SQL in one day. If you understand these two, this is just one day. This is a small part for us, right? And for visualization, I told, right, at the end, you have to present the data. Whatever the inferences you have got, right, the data you have to present in terms of uh, uh, representation, visual representation. You have to make some kind of visual representation. You can't simply say, sir, uh, this don't implement like this. You can't say something uh, orally. You can't say orally or you can't write any paragraphs or tests. You have to show everything visual representation by using some kind of graphs, different, different graphs. For that visualization, we are having a tool called as Tableau. Along with the Tableau, we are also having Power BI or we are having multiple uh, visualization tools out of which Tableau is the, again, industry leader. Okay, wherever we are having multiple things, at least we should be familiar with at least one of them. Right? These are the various tools. Now coming to roles, what are the various roles in data science? What is meant by data analyst? What is meant by machine learning engineer, data engineer, and data scientist? Okay, data analyst is going to apply the data and he is not going to apply machine learning without saying the machine learning. For example, you are analyzing the data. You are analyzing on data on your own without taking the help of machine. Okay, for example, let us take an example. 
okay you want to purchase a mobile you are interested in purchasing a mobile now you want to purchase a mobile for that you are browsing different websites and uh, from that you have identified different companies like mi like realme okay samsung and uh, vivo oppo lg apple so like this you have seen various companies out of which which one you are going to select which mobile you are going to select as for example your budget is 12000 to 15000 is your budget let us assume your budget is 12 to 15000 now which mobile you are going to select from all, out of all these things so let us assume out of all these things i am having within my budget in within my budget range i am having around 20 mobiles are available remaining uh, mobiles are more than to this or less than to this let us assume in my budget 20 mobiles are there out of these 20 mobiles which one you are going to select just as per your requirement right which satisfies your requirement so as per your requirement you are analyzing the 20 mobiles and you are finding the difference between this one and that one and what is the processor this processor and that processor and ram and what is the internet storage and uh, what is the camera and what is the battery life everything you are analyzing right so every person is by default a data analyst data analyst means analyzing the data and selecting the one which one they want is with respect to data analyst right by default every person is a data analyst so for example if i want to purchase an item i'm going to see one shop shop one and i'm going to see in second shop and whichever the shop i'm finding more better i'm going to select that one right and this is also a data analyst only i'm analyzing on my own okay data analyze what is the data analyst means without the help of machine learning if he's analyzing the data without the help of machine learning without the help of machine learning just he is analyzing the data by applying different different combinations he has to require one programming tool let us assume he is working on python so he is combining different different things and after combining now he is understanding the data so for him just a programming tool is required and for that visualization tool is required that's it whatever the data he wants to combine and he wants to visualize one uh, python and tableau if you know means he is a data analyst if he knows python and tableau he is a data analyst fix okay now coming to machine learning engineers they are going to exclusively work major part on with respect to machine learning and how this machine learning algorithms works they are going to apply the max behind that okay they are going to change the machine learning algorithm with respect to by giving different parameters different different parameters they are going to select and from that they are going to have right now with respect to coming to the same uh, programming tool is common and data understanding and finally applying the statistics with respect to machine learning is with respect to machine learning engineer whereas data engineer their major focus is on data collection okay so for example if i know with respect to various data sources for example uh, mysql is the database like uh, cassandra okay i'm having mongodb uh, big data hadoop spa like this you are having various databases knowledge and you are able to extract the data from various data sources then you are called as a data engineer you should be having a good knowledge on databases and you should have a good knowledge on the cloud how to extract the data from a, uh, in the cloud using aws or azure with respect to all these things right he is called as a data engineer whereas coming to data scientist with respect to data scientist should have a good knowledge on the programming he should have a good knowledge on the data statistics and the data with respect to data preparation process and with respect to machine learning all these things she should be familiar with everything should should be familiar with now what is meant by data institution here and what is data wrangling data institution is nothing but understanding the data understand the data and transform the data this is called as transform the data you are transforming the data from one format to another format as per the requirements of machine learning so machine learning will understand in this way for example you guys for example human learning is there 
for human learning uh, first i have to explain the slide 1 slide 2 slide 3 in this order if i explain first slide followed by 15th slide again i come back to second slide again third slide then what will be the we will not able to understand anything simply in the feedback you will say that we can't able to understand anything from the trainer if i make everything in the sequential order and everything i am injecting one by one one by one slowly automatically everything you are going to understand right this we used to call as data wrangling right now finally once you have done all these things now you want to apply for data scientist job means you have to prepare your resume your resume has to be in such a way that you are having a good knowledge let us assume you are having a knowledge on data science you are having a good knowledge on data science you have to project that to me you are having good knowledge okay but you have to project to me right i have to understand that you are having a good knowledge by seeing your resume only for example there is one particular job for that uh, 100 people has sent their resume 100 persons has sent their resume 100 resumes i have got for a one single job i have got 100 resumes should i interview all these 100 people should i interview 100 interviews should i conduct or should i apply the filter and i have to bring down to 10 and for this 10 i have to uh, i have to check uh, interview which one has to be done okay we can't do the interviews for 100 people right so for that we are going to apply some filters and based on that after filterization was completed we are going to get certain resumes these resumes we are going to conduct any interviews right now in order to get shortlisted your resume you have to project whatever the skill set you are having on your resume if you are not projecting uh, i have completed the course at naresh it i have completed this if you write like this there is no use there are certain people who are writing with respect to a table or column this is five years back five years back story nowadays if anyone are seeing this type of table or column that uh, okay this is education this is the college name this is the cgpa if someone sees like this they are throwing off the resumes they are not even opening the resume right you have to update yourself in one resume so many things it is going to speak right it is going to say what is the skill set you are having the skill set in terms of what is the subject you are having what are the tools you have learned and what are the tools you are familiar right you have to incorporate all these things in your resume what is the subject you are having you have to project that i am the one of the best you have to project in that way right and with respect to the certifications if you have done any certifications you have to uh, do that one okay you have to keep that same thing that whatever the certification you have completed you have to keep, uh, keep that one in your resume if you have attempted any international competitions like kaggle you have to uh, keep that one in your resume right and with respect to this uh, experience whatever the type of experience so no sir i'm not having any kind of experience i'm a fresher so during the training you will be practicing right during the training you are practicing right to how much extent you are practicing and how many extent of case studies you have done and how much of projects you have done you have to project that one you are not having a real time experience but you can project that i am having an experience with 10 plus projects these many case studies i have worked you can write like that right so the experience in terms of training whatever the during the training what are the case studies and projects you have done if you have internship you have if you have done any kind of internship the internship and if you had uh, whatever the things you have done you are going to keep everything in the github once you upload in the github and you, if you keep the link of github repository github repository is nothing but some kind of drive okay so okay you are keeping in your google drive and you are sharing that google drive link means the persons are going to open that one and they are going to see what type of projects you have done and what way you have done projects in terms of type of project and the way of execution this both of them are important in what way you have executed the project what are the things you have followed in that project and how, how finally what is the inference you have got from that project 
all these things you have to project yourself and finally you have to make in terms of visual resume in google type just visual resume you are going to get some visual resumes what is meant by visual resumes which attracts the hr visually by saying the resume itself it will be attracted right you have to do all these things and you have to incorporate in your resume right see almost 90% of the students what is the mistake they commonly do is they just listen to the class and feel they are data scientist but this is wrong just listening to the classes attending the classes every day attending the classes for one and a half hour and since it is online just you are owning the uh, classroom and doing your own work it is not going to affect right so just listening will not make data scientist you have to listen you have to understand and you have to apply you have to apply also with respect to different projects you have to apply the concepts whatever the concepts you have learned you have to apply if you are doing these three things then you are a data scientist okay if you don't understand and simply you act that i have understand that concept okay i have seen some of the students they will act they will start acting that uh, whether you have understood means so they will say that uh, without knowing without don't, uh, without uh, understanding also they will say simply sir i have understood yes clear 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 but actually if you are not clear means why you have to act you can ask directly right you can ask directly that i have not understood this concepts you can ask once again to repeat the concepts same concepts right so you have to understand the concepts and simultaneously i don't know why students generally for example uh, students are there why students generally uh, open the interview questions at the end only why they will open the interview questions at the end why you can't open the interview questions after every topic why you are going to type in uh, google data science interview questions on data science why you are typing like this why you can't type a data science interview question uh, interview questions on statistics interview questions on python interview questions on machine learning interview questions on deep learning when i have come when i'm working on statistics part you have to listen to the classes you have to understand the statistics part and you have to immediately open the interview questions and test yourself to how much extent you have learned how much extent you have learned you have to know that one right once you are having a good subject and tools knowledge and you have done certifications and something like this automatically you are going to get a job with 100% guarantee 100% guarantee if you ask 90% of the students who are not getting the jobs for example for example you are having one of your friend your friend has completed data science course but he has not got job let us assume just ask him what is the certification he has done if he says that i have done the some kind of certification from this particular institute i will go and pay that uh, money they will also automatically give that uh, certificate getting certifications is not important that too from a normal institute is not important what is the level of certification you are doing that is important get the microsoft certification or get the ibm certification or get some kind of uh, international certifications any certification which you can't buy with money if i pay the fees and if they are giving the job certification miss uh, certification miss there is no use get nascom certification with respect to this type of certifications plays major role not from institute okay sir i have completed from this institute they have given the certificate okay i will also pay the fees and one day they will give the certificate without learning the course also they will give the certificate if i pay the full fees right now if you are having a good subject then why you can't attempt a international competition like kaggle right if you are having the skill set if you are having good skill set is equal to job 
if someone says i am not getting job means you are not having the no you are not having any kind of skill set simple meaning is very simple no skill set means no job if you are having good skills means automatically you are having the job it is very simple okay sir i will pay the fees for naresh it and if i listen the classes do i get the job means absolutely you are not going to get the job just if you listen to the classes i will get the job miss you are not going to get a job not only here no way you have to practice you have to understand you have to test yourself to how much extent you have learned okay if someone is providing any material any institute is providing any material don't believe this because Uh, tomorrow hr is going to ask only from this material hr is going to ask only from this material right the uh, whoever are interviewing they are going to ask your material uh, tell me uh, what material you have followed please give us i will ask from that only they are going to say like this sir no right if they are not going to say like this then how you can follow only that material right you should be understanding the concepts don't fix to one material see first you have completed one material miss choose one more material choose one more material check yourself test yourself check the interview questions how much knowledge you have got like this you have to complete the course right if you are having a good skill set automatically you are going to get a job it is fixed okay coming to salary part okay this image i have got from glassdoor directly i have not created on either uh, editor i have got directly from the glassdoor right so it is saying that average data scientist salary in india is 8 lakhs in terms of per fresher it is not even per uh, experienced person i have not even typed for experienced person for a fresher for an mlc not for startups okay now coming to this career path initially you are going to start as a junior data scientist okay where your salary will be around 8 7 to 8 lakhs initially okay once you start once you start your career as a data scientist okay after 2 years of experience you will be having with respect to associate data scientist okay if you are having 4 to 8 years of experience you are having as a senior data scientist followed by product manager followed by lead data scientist followed by director project director right now the salaries how the salaries would be there and how the demand with respect to data science is there the demand is very high not even high very high very high demand is there in the market okay now coming to salary part so when compared to any other course there the salaries and when compared to that course what would be the salaries if i complete this course very simple anyone if you take like this years of experience on your x axis i'm taking years of experience this side if i check their salaries on y axis okay so in what way it is going to increase everyone is going to increase right if you take any domain any career if you are a network engineer if you are a cyber security if you are an uh, with respect to full stack developer or if you are uh, with respect to cloud engineer any domain your salary automatically increases as the you are having experience after 2 years automatically the salary increases but at what rate it is going to increase that is the question mark at what rate whether it is going to increase linearly or whether it is going to increase exponentially in, with respect to okay here you are having as a data scientist we are having the exponential growth exponential growth right so as a fresher as a fresher any one will get a normally at the starting range everyone will be the same but after 2 years after 4 years after 6 years 
if you see the salaries, it will be very high with respect to data science when compared to anything. Whatever I'm saying, everything was analyzing. After analyzing one, I'm saying, okay, you can check with respect to, right? I'm 100% sure, right? Now, the exponential growth, now simple, very simple answer. If any persons are experienced, already you are having an experience in IT, let us assume you are having already an experience in IT. What is your um, uh, increment after one year? What is the increment you have got in any year? Generally, it will be five to 10% maximum. But for data scientists, the increment will be within the same company, the increment will be 25 to 30 is the minimum. 25% to 30% annual hike. Annual hike with respect to 25 to 30% within the same company, not even jumping into other company also. Within the same company, the average hike will be within 25 to 30%. Right? Is that clear? Now, let's get into the last part. Now, this data science and applied AI course at Nadesh IT and what I'm going to do here exactly. Okay. In this, the course, whatever the course I have designed is keeping into mind with respect to all the skills required. Okay. So I have designed the course in such a way with respect to the contents, whatever the contents you are going to learn is with respect to project-based learning. I'm not going to just apply like simply just, I'm not going to teach the concepts. I'm going to take every time the projects. Okay, real-time projects. I'm going to explain you with respect to real-time projects. One with respect to sales. Okay, one with respect to healthcare. One with respect to finance. Like this, I'm going to cover almost eight to nine different domains. Right? In this, I'm going to cover the complete Python. Okay, required for data science, the libraries and the statistics. I'm going to explain the statistics very detailedly. Not statistics means uh, I have observed in some of, some of uh, they are working with respect to two hours or three hours of that uh, statistics they are explaining. But in here we are going to have with respect to at least 10 to 15 hours we are going to spend on statistics. Very detailed of statistics we are going to understand. Okay, and in machine learning, I'm going to cover 20 algorithms. 20 algorithms, right? And deep learning, natural language processing, computer vision, SQL, and Tableau. The complete life cycle I'm going to cover. Okay, the complete life cycle I'm going to cover from the business understanding to final deployment part, including the data presentation. Whatever the complete life cycle is there. Okay, data collection. I'm going to collect the data from SQL. I'm going to explain you using data collection. Data understanding. So whatever the data, whichever the data I'm going to collect for different projects, I'm going to take the different data, right? So for that data, I'm going to explain you what is the data I have collected and I'm going to explain data understanding there data institution and for every data for every project we are going to execute the complete life cycle with respect to right the complete life cycle will be done right now here we are going to have with respect to free python and linux apart from this you will be having the complete python for example if you want to apply as a developer so the python whatever we are going to train here means whatever the training i am going to give you the Python is required with respect to data science, right? The complete Python with respect to data science. I'm not going to focus on the non-data science Python part. I'm not working as a developer. You are not as a software engineers. We have to focus on exactly what we require, right? Here, the focus will be majorly with respect to data science, right? Next, by end of this course, you will be doing 10 real-time projects, okay? 15 plus assignments. I'm going to share you the assignments and you are going to practice from your end, right? And you are going to test yourself to how much extent you have learned. 
and I'm going to have one capstone project. At the end, we are going to implement complete life cycle of this project, right? And uh, with certifications, whatever the Python I'm going to cover, you, you can easily crack the Microsoft certification. You can take the Microsoft certification and you can complete the Microsoft certification. And along with that, TCS Ion Pro certification also. Okay. So whatever the content I'm going to share you, you can complete all these things. Right? Now, the placement support I'll be doing with respect to your CV by resume building, I'm going to take the class one or two sessions for this with respect to how to build your portfolio, how to keep everything. I'm going to take two sessions for that. How to build your resume, how to incorporate all this, uh, what are the skill set you have learned and how the projects, what are the projects you have learned, how to keep that one. Capstone project, how to highlight, how to showcase yourself as an experienced person by not keeping one year or two years of fake experience. I'm not saying that one. I'm saying whatever the knowledge you are having that you have to project on the resume. Okay, with respect to Kaggle competition and uh, LinkedIn, I'll be showing you how to attempt this Kaggle competition. You are going to participate in the Kaggle competition and you are going to have a rank and you have to keep that one in your resume and how to build the LinkedIn profile and finally how to make everything with respect to visually that is visual resume right and as we are tied up with number of companies with Naresh IT we are going to share your resumes to various companies right and we are having the job portals also Naresh IT is having some job portals two job portals are there where they will be posting every time the jobs whatever the jobs uh, required by the industry every time they are going to post that one and you can apply from that also even from job portals also my motto is without taking any help from these people we have to get on based on our knowledge based on the knowledge we have gained we have to get the job directly on our own that is our vision without taking the help of from Naresh IT directly by the end of the course, you have to say, sir, I have got the job directly. Right. Now coming to this, how to learn data science very easily and quickly. Remember data science, whatever the data science is there, it is a interlinked subject. If you miss one of the class in between also, you can't understand the next class. It is not like uh, other courses. You have to understand, you should be familiar with the previous concepts. If you are good at the previous concepts, then only the next concepts will be easy. If you are not good at previous concepts, the next concepts you can't understand clearly. Okay. So here you have to do the thing is, first you have to listen and focus in the class. If you are sure that I will listen to the class and I will attend the classes completely regularly, and I will focus on the class and I will not do any kind of acting. I will be asking number of questions. If I am having a small doubt also, I will, I will not have any hesitation to ask the questions. If you are sure that way, sir, why you have written that code only? Why you have done this one only? You have to ask me like that. And after focusing it, each and every thing, you have to understand that one. You have to understand that one. After understanding, you have to practice that one. After practicing, you have to test yourself to how much extent you have learned. And you have to apply on the new concepts. If you are doing all these things, means automatically you are going to get the job. No, sir, I uh, just I will listen. After listening directly, I will apply on the new things. Miss, you will only confuse. Simple. I am saying at the starting itself, right? Just I will listen to the classes. By listening itself, I will feel that I have understood everything and I will apply directly, miss. You will only confuse. Okay. I'm saying about, again, I'm saying, I'm, I'm discussing about 90% of the students only. Some of the students are there. They are exceptionals. They, by listening itself, they'll understand the concepts. They can, they are having a knowledge directly to apply. So they can do this one. I'm not saying about 10% of the students. I'm saying about 90% of the students. If you are in this, miss, just ignore this one. If you are in this mess, prepare for this one. Right? Next, how to train your brain 
how to focus from the day one like this miss completely you have to take the notes in the class during the class you have to take the running notes completely you have to focus on the running notes and you have to be patient be patient in terms of uh, let me complete the topic because in uh, i'm going to bring practice slides what uh, i have discussed only in the third slide in the fourth slide what is there you don't know right might be your question may be in the fourth slide you don't know right so you have to be patient until i complete the complete thing you have to be patient and after that you can ask the questions number of times you can ask the questions for example if i am skipping something immediately next day also i will be in the class only right immediately then next day you have to ask the question okay and you have to be patient and you have to understand the concepts very fast because it is a vast syllabus you have to understand the concepts automatically we are a humans so generally we we'll forget the concepts what are the concepts we have uh, done 15 days back will be generally forgetting right so for that we have to do the repetition we have to do some kind of repetition okay what are the concepts you have completed earlier 15 days back you have to revise once again okay first day when you are working for a new topic it might take 4 hours to study that particular topic for revision it might take 2 hours after one second revision it may take 150 one hour one more the time revision it will come under 10 minutes the complete topic topic you will be just revising in 10 minutes in order to complete in 10 minutes you have to do number of times revision in one day itself you can't do that one right you should have a good patient and just focus whatever i am saying just follow 100% you are going to get job if you don't get job directly ask me sir i have done this one what are the certifications you have told i have done what are the kagal i have done automatically you will get the job you will not even say it to me if if you are having knowledge miss prove that knowledge you are having prove that one what are the knowledge you are having prove sir i have done this assignments i have done this projects showcase your knowledge prove that you are having a things in this class total let us assume i am having 100 students 100 students are listening to the class 100 students are getting nareesh it certificate so what is the special with you i want that one i want special quality with you right so give some time for practice or revision every day every day after once my class is completed immediately practice for next half an hour to one hour not more than that whatever i have completed every day complete every day's task every day only don't postpone just complete the task right and apply the concepts whatever the concepts you have learned apply that on the different problems i told right i'm going to take number of case studies on the case study one i am doing in one way you do in different way you get the answer solutions in different way okay no one is going to do the same way remember data scientist if i am a data scientist and you are a data scientist let us assume i and you we both are data scientist whether we both are going to get the same answer no i am going to get a different answer you are going to get a different answer you may think in different way i may think differently why sir how how it is possible if different answers means which one is correct or uh, how i can know like this all the questions right simple everyone knows ipl auction right everyone knows ipl auction you are having rcb you are having with respect to delhi capitals csk mumbai indians all these things are there for example there is uh, with respect to uh, kohli we are having kohli and uh, we have to bid for him so rcb uh the data scientist for rcb they told for kohli we can spend up to 6 to 8 c okay for delhi captors they told for kohli we can spend up to 5 to 7 and for csk whatever the data scientist is there the data scientist team is there they are saying we can go for 6 to 7 c and mumbai indians for 5 to 8 let us assume like this they have given that one so whenever the 5c is there they are going to participate until dc is going to participate until 7c until that they will raise their hand once the 7c is completed it is more than 7c some cross it is crossing their limits means immediately they will stop bidding 
CSK will stop the bidding. Only RCB and Mumbai Indians will fight. They'll uh, until where they are going to continue with respect to whatever the data scientist team has predicted, right? Until that they are going to do, right? If every data scientist is having the same answer, then everyone has to predict the same answer, right? For Kohli, whatever the RCB is having 60, for him 60, for him 60, for him 60. Everyone should have 60 only, right? Everyone has to ask for 60 only, right? Simple concept, right? Understanding. So now coming to this, finally the course with respect to this Naresh IT, as if I'm the trainer, as whatever the promise I have made for you, whatever the course content I have promised, I will be fulfilling everything. Okay, the batch is going to start on 28th October. That is once the Dashra holidays end, right? So every student has to return back to Hyderabad or once the holidays are completed, everyone has to settle, right? So we are giving some kind of gap. On 20th October, we are going to start a batch where I'll be training that one. Whatever the promise I have made with respect to the Python and statistics and machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing and computer vision, SQL and Tableau, everything I'm going to cover with whatever the projects, 10 real-time projects I'm going to cover with that and one capstone project and whatever the content I'm going to share you, everything, right? And the timing will be from 7.30 p.m. to 9. It is a one and a half hour batch. So the timings will be from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Okay, and the classes will be recorded and the recordings will be shared to you. Right, whatever the class in the class, whatever the notes I'm going to uh, use the PPTs, everything will be uploaded on the Google Drive. We are going to create a Google Drive link on this Google Drive link, we are going to upload the complete notes. Right? And the course duration would be around three to three and a half months. Okay? Yeah. And the fees, most of them are asking fees, it is of 15,000 rupees. Fifteen thousand rupees is the course fees. Duration is three to three and a half months. If I include in between some Saturdays means it will be completed early. If I don't include Saturdays means it might take three and a half months. It is completely online. It is a completely online session. Right. Now, once you enroll for the course, the moment, the moment you enroll for the course, right, whatever the Python classes we have initiated will be shared to you. The Python free Python and Linux classes, whatever the classes are there, we'll be sharing to you. Yeah. So what are the 15,000 course fees? It is going to include the NASCOM. NASCOM certification also is included. NASCOM certificate is also included with respect to this. And uh, Microsoft or TCS, you have to pay on your end and you have to crack that one. Right? I assume most of the questions have been done. Yeah, Monday to Friday. The sessions will be from Monday to Friday. Right? Now, let me have your questions. Please everyone, you can use the chat box and you can type your questions. Yeah, the first one is duration. Three and a half months is the duration to 
Monday to Friday, 3, 7.30 to 9 p.m. Yeah, classes will be recorded. Yes, fees is 15,000. Right? Now, guys, 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 you are, uh, you are getting questions very fast. Let me have slowly. In this 15,000, NASCOM certification is included. But Microsoft certification and TCS, uh, you have to pay separately. Okay. Next. So, sir, guys, it is very fast for me to understand these questions. Just can you uh, can fees be paid in installment? Miss, uh, uh, just you can ask this management team, and uh, you can get the confirmation from them. I don't know exactly in what way they are collecting the fees. Whether the instruments are accepted or not, I don't know. You can ask the management team. Yes, I mean, Naresh editing. Uh, next, uh, sir, uh, I already enrolled for full stack data science course in Naresh IT. Okay, so the difference between the full stack and this, I'm going to have in detail about uh, the statistics part and uh, with respect to the machine learning part. Okay. And what about the recordings? Yes, recordings will be provided at additional cost. You can get uh, get from them. Okay. So, I'm, I'm an experienced professional and I want to change to data science. Will this course help me? Absolutely, Salah Sevrao. The course is going to help full for you. Absolutely. You can change your career. The only question is uh, whether your previous experience will be considered or not. It is depend upon what type of the previous experience you are having and uh, what type of company you are applying. So the company, for example, in my company, if I'm working on a particular uh, uh, SAP, okay, where my project is included as SAP also, SAP also then your SAP experience will be useful for me. So at that time, I'm going to consider your experience. Okay. Yes, so next, uh, sir, we need my uh, morning batches. Is it possible? Just you can please confirm from the Naresh IT team. Okay, this is the batch which I'm dealing. Uh, next. Without any IT knowledge and having a gap of six years, can we do the course now, sir? Absolutely, Bhavana. Okay. So, absolutely, you can do. Just I'm going to take from the classes from the scratch, that is zero at level, assuming that the person don't know anything. He is a white paper. He don't know anything. Not even uh, just the prerequisite for this course is you should be familiar with English language. That is the minimum requirement. Only English language. You should understand the English language. That's it. That is enough for me. Right? Yeah. Morning batches, you can please confirm with them. And Akhlesh, how much is for Microsoft certification, sir? Around 2000 rupees. Okay. And all, all modules start sequential or parallel? All modules will be done sequential order, one by one, one by one. Whatever the order there is there, it is going to be in the sequential order. Any tools you provide, all the tools, whatever I have explained in the PPT, every tool I'm going to explain you. WordPress, sir, every tool. Okay, every tool we are going to cover and uh, during the complete course, by end of the course, every tool will be covered. 
what amount we have to pay for TCS and Microsoft certification. For Microsoft certification, it is uh, around 2000 and for TCS, it's around 3000 rupees. Okay. If you are interested, you can pay off your own directly going from Microsoft website and TCS website and there itself you can pay and you can take the certificate. I mean, take the exam. Once you qualify in that exam, you will get the certification. Are you going to be committed in turning up to take classes? Absolutely. I'll make sure that everyone will get the job from my end. It's now your part. Sir, what about uh, max, sir, is requirements of uh, linear algebra and calculus? Whatever the prerequisites, max and stacks is there, everything I'm going to cover from the scratch level. Whatever the max I'm going to discuss in the class is more than enough. The mathematics part and statistics part, everything I'll be discussing in the class. That is the requirement. I'm not experienced in uh, uh, IT industry. Okay, no problem. Whatever the type of experience you are having, you can easily uh, change your career to this uh, data science. Absolutely no problem. Sir, it is helpful in learning at the age of 27 or so. If you are having interest, means absolutely. Jaman Singh. Sir, uh, your own notes and your own handwriting in class, when will be taught us? Yeah, I'm going to share the complete PPT. Not today's. Except today's PPT, everything will be shared. Today's PPT is for uh, taking this one. Uh, today's webinar. Okay, class notes, I'm going to upload in the drive. Sadashiva Rao, I'm subject expert in oil and gas domain. Perfect. So you can easily apply for an oil and gas industry. And uh, what are the projects? For example, TCS is there. TCS is a third party, right? So it is uh, tomorrow we are going to get uh, in TCS uh, with respect to ONGC project. Obviously, you will be the person we are going to hire you. Okay, it is the type of project what is the type of project you are going to work with, whether they are going to consider you or not, it is dependent on the project. Okay. And Mahesh is saying, sir, please suggest me best projects for precious. Yeah, any project.